Welcome to Cam Look, your dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or a volunteer will be sharing an object from the collection and posing questions after for discussion. Please check back in every week for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Emma and I'm the museum's tour coordinator and I will be talking about the falls of Tekadama near Bogota, New Grenada by Frederick Edwin Church. Frederick Edwin Church was born in Hartford, Connecticut in 1826. Church's father was very successful and directed several financial firms as well as a couple of jewelry and silversmith fronts. Because of his financial background, Church was able to pursue art very young and eventually became Thomas Cole's pupil. Thomas Cole was a famous landscape artist and wrote that Church had the finest eye for drawing in the world. Church's work hit the prime age of Romanticism and he adopted breathtaking detail in his work. The timing of his career also hit the second generation of the Hudson River School, which was founded by his teacher, Thomas Cole. Hudson River School's works were noteworthy in their beautiful and idyllic depictions of the American landscape. Church primarily lived in New York, but traveled extensively. In 1859, during an exhibition, he strategically placed his work, The Heart of the Andes, in the gallery so that natural light would illuminate his painting. It worked and it sold for $10,000, and at the time, this was the highest price ever purchased by a living American artist. During the exhibition, he met his future wife, Isabel Mortimer Carnitz. They eventually had four children together and traveled the world throughout the children's early years. In 1870, he started construction on his Persian-inspired mansion on the top of a hill overlooking the Hudson River and the Catskill Mountains. They named the house Olana, which is derived from Arabic, meaning our place on high. This historic site is now protected by the state of New York and has touring opportunities and a fantastic website where you can see a live feed of the Catskill Mountains from the top of this historic house. Unfortunately, with age, Church had rheumatoid arthritis, which makes painting extremely difficult. He adjusted his technique by painting with his left hand and painting much slower. His wife, Isabel, passed away in May of 1899, and he passed away in April of 1900. They are both buried in Connecticut. Church's work continues to stun and mystify people even after his death. His work from 1861, The Icebergs, was sold at auction for $2.5 million in 1979. The work, The Falls of Tegendima, near Bogota, New Grenada, currently sits in Gallery 217 and is honestly breathtaking to behold. Church painted this in 1854 while traveling in South America. The painting depicts a large mountain range with exposed rock and a rushing waterfall descending onto sharp rocks below. The mist of the collision carries into the top right of the painting while the foreground depicts the rushing water bobbing around the rocks. The wildlife around the painting suggests that the waterfall brings life and balance to the surrounding ecosystem. And you can even see a parrot perched within the flowers on the left. The Tecadima Falls is in Colombia and literally translates to he who precipitated downward. Many legends surround this waterfall, even one that states that people would escape colonization by jumping off the falls and becoming eagles to fly away to freedom. Church took advice from Alexander von Humboldt, a scientist and explorer, who stated that South America's biological and geological diversity provided the ultimate intellectual and emotional stimulation. So some questions while you look at this painting. Envision yourself in this work. What do you smell? What do you hear? Church has been known to hide his brush strokes. How do you think that he does that? Can you, without getting too close, see any of his brushworks? Thank you for joining me, and we will see you next week with a new work and a new conversation.